What's up, Riptide fam? It's Monday, April 6th. Gotta have a date there because I don't even know what day it is. We're gonna start the warm up with an OTB whole body complex. It's essentially a series of movements, core focused, to just kind of warm up. We're gonna start with 10 alternating supine plank leg raises, 10 sit up to pikes, 10 sit up to straddle, a good like leg stretch and hip stretch there, and then five inchworms into downward dog into cobra. And we're gonna go through that for two full rounds. Get warm. All right, folks, for your movement prep, we got two options, whether you're using dumbbells or a partially loaded option and the unloaded, okay? I'm gonna explain the partially loaded. We're gonna start with a 200 meter run. Remember, if you're not going anywhere and you're running in place, that's gonna be <clears throat> essentially about 45 seconds of running in place. Then we have four dumbbell front squats, plus four dumbbell push press, we'll show that in just a second. Uh, handstand push up lowers or negatives. I'm gonna show how to do that as well. We got six reps there. 12 alternating dumbbell hang power snatches. Six strict handstand push ups, or the same modification we're talking about here in just a moment, and then four man makers. Once we finish with the four, six, 12, six, four, you're gonna now run 200 meters again, kind of sandwiched out between the two 200s. And that 200 meter will be a little bit faster. So if the first time you jog in place for 45 seconds, jog in place for 30 seconds with your knees coming up high. All right, let's go over these movements. 200 meter running, you guys know the drill there. Front squats, you're gonna hold two dumbbells and squat with the dumbbells on your shoulders, keeping those elbows up. For the push press, Dumbbells on the shoulders, you have to dip, drive, press. Four of those there. Handstand push-up lowers. These are essentially negatives. Handstand, so kick up into a handstand, do the negative. If you're not kicking up on any wall inside your house, you can set up on your couch, chair, stool. If you need to make the stool higher, grab like books or boxes. It's sturdy so you can put your feet on them. I'm kind of going to demo here with uh, our prop. All right, you're gonna pop your feet up. Try to bring your hands as close as possible to the box. It's gonna require some hamstring flexibility. All right, and then you're gonna come nice and slow and press. You have six of those. Alternating dumbbell hang power snatch. From the hang, you kind of go swing. One, two, all right, work those there. Strict handstand push-ups, you can take that variation of the handstand push-up, make it harder instead of a negative. You're just going down and up without any kind of kipping there. And then the man makers. The link for the man maker is right below, so check that out, have fun with that movement. And that wraps up our movement prep for the partially loaded, and then if you're gonna do the unloaded, just check out uh, the workout on Wi-Fi. Rock and roll. All right, folks, for today's workout, we have a fun one. Um, it's just like an EMOM, but instead of being every minute or every two minutes, it's gonna be every 10 minutes, okay? So we're gonna have like a long chipper style set to do. Uh, the goal is to finish anywhere between six to seven minutes, rest anywhere between three to four minutes, and then repeat that for three rounds, okay? The movements are gonna start with uh, four dumbbell man makers, and you're gonna to go to eight strict handstand push-ups. And we have 16 hang power snatches with that dumbbell. Remember, you're alternating with those dumbbell power snatches. So four, eight, 16, and then you do an 800 meter sprint. And that's right, it's a sprint. You're gonna run as hard as fast as you can. When you come back from the 800 meters, check your time. The goal is to be anywhere between those six to seven minutes of work maybe eight minutes of work, okay? You rest all the way to the 10 minute mark, and at the 10 minute mark, we start that all over again for round two, and then repeat for a total of three rounds, all right? A couple of things to think about. The mad makers, for the dumbbell, choose a dumbbell weight that you have at home to be able to do those four man makers without really breaking. Um, again, we are looking for like a sprint style workout. Strict handstand push-ups, you have eight, Remember, if you're not doing handstand push-ups against the wall, 
just like we explained in the movement prep, do them on a prop, do negatives. Um, if you need to scale those even more, we're gonna go down to regular push-ups, push-ups on the knees, and then dumbbell snatches, 16 total, and then did 800 meter run. Um, that's about a three minute run right there-ish. Remember, if you're running in place, keep those knees up and run in place there. Again, we have about a six, seven minute effort of work and about two or three minutes of rest. So those six or seven minutes is not a full max effort sprint. You gotta pace that a little bit because six or seven minutes of work is a lot of work. Pace that a little bit, make sure you recover on those two to three minutes. The focus is the breathing. Two to three minutes is enough time to recover, but only if you focus on that recovery. Don't lie down on the ground, don't sit down. Stay sitting, stay standing, keep your mind right. All right, this is a really good workout. Have fun with it. It's gonna take about 30 minutes. Rock and roll.